A great gift idea. Creating string art is not as hard as you might think. We'll show you how to build this wall-worthy piece. Weekend Warrior Alert, ripping out your carpet by yourself can save you money. We're going to show you how to safely do it and recycle at the same time. Superheroes, villains, and monsters, we're getting ready for Comic-Con with face painting tips to get you into character and featuring your DIY costumes. Welcome to Fix This. I am Vita. We've got Raquel. We have Becky, and we have a special guest. Hannah. Hannah. Can you wear Hannah? Oh, she's oh, so shy, shy today. Oh no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be with us in a minute to talk about Becky's segment, mm -hmm. but we want to get started today. Um, I have this carpet knife, and I'm trying to keep it as far away from Hannah as possible <laughs> um, because we want to talk to you about um, if you're doing any home improvement projects and it's time to rip out that old carpet, you can rip out your own carpet. That's me. By yourself, you can save money by not having to pay somebody, but you can also recycle it. That's the beauty about doing it yourself. There are ways to recycle not only the carpet, but the things underneath the carpet. It's good for the environment too. So this is for all you DIYers this summer that you're like, okay, I'm ready to get rid of that old carpet, but I'm ready to do it right. That's really a lot cool. of hard work there, Vita. I know. I know. It was and fun though, it wasn't that bad though. I'm really, and I'm not really strong. So <laughs> I was excited about that, so. Very this cool. be fun. And you know, Halloween isn't the only time to get dressed up as your favorite superhero characters. That's why we have our special guest with us here. And she's looking that way because she's not ready to model yeah, just she, yet. She needs to make her debut. She we yes. <laughs> have a special guest here that is going to show us how to do Comic-Con face art. And mm -hmm. it's stuff that you can do yourself. It's not overly elaborate, even though she can do those designs. But these are things that you can do. Go to Comic-Con and be the star of the show. Are you excited to get painted? We're talking about having Elsa done on your face, right? It's princess I know. <laughs> It'll be fun. Oh, she's smiling. We got a smile out of her. <laughs> the other thing that we're working on this week, or that I have done, is string art. I've seen, you've seen this all over Pinterest. Oh, yeah. um, it's really fun and neat to do. I did the Colorado flag. I this. Um, so we're going to take you step by step how to do this and how to make it look just perfect. It's wonderful. This is a great gift. This is a great gift for Father's Day or just any other, you know, birthdays, holidays, or just even for your own wall if you love to do some string art. Yeah, I yeah, love it's this. definitely wall worthy. So speaking of Father's Day, we also have another little craft for you. It's the shirt card and I'm going to show you how to use just some ordinary scrapbook paper and you can turn this into a t-shirt card for dad and it's a Aww. cute little way to say happy Father's Day and it's really fun so to make. Cute. This is just like a great gift from the kids. It is. You, know? and they, you can open it up and have a little message inside for them so there's fun ways to do this. You can also put candy in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now let's head over to Vita, who's going to show us how to rip up those carpets. Hi, everybody. Vita along with JR from High West Residential Renovation Specialists. And today I'm so excited about this segment because we got our glasses. Put them on together, twinsies. Yes. And we have. This was for me, this wasn't really for you. It's just to help keep dust, uh, anything in there. If you've got, uh, you know, asthma, allergies. I have allergies, yeah, really you, bad. You really wanna, wanna help yourself out there. Okay, we're talking about ripping stuff. out my carpet. And um, so this is a great project if you wanna save some money. Say you, even if you're having some carpet reinstalled yeah, or hardwood floors, it, they're gonna charge you to come rip they your sure carpet are. out. And you don't know what they're gonna do with it if you care about the environment. Cut it up, have it recycled. I'm really excited about doing this. But talk about the process, because you really, there's an environmentally good way to do all of this. Yeah, sure. So when we're, we're looking at the carpet, you've got obviously got a, a large area here. Uh, you can take your knife, be very careful with that, and you can cut it into sections, which a lot of people do, and you roll it up as you go. So you want to be very careful. There's also a perimeter strip that holds the carpet down. Uh, you can really get hurt. It's got nails poking up through it, so dress appropriately. Heavy shoes. Yes, heavy glasses, shoes, glasses, pants, gloves. gloves. So we need a few, a few different tools. Um, when we get in there, and, and everybody's got their own preferences of what they like to use. Once you get the carpet up, you've got to get that tack strip out, so you need some kind of pry bar. It's good to have a hammer. When you pull that carpet up, bullnose dikes are great. 
for pulling staples up, nails, different things like that. You know, you'll use a lot of these tools for different applications and it can just make your life a lot easier. The pad, as you can see, is stapled down repeatedly. It's pretty easy to pull up. Should come right off. You're gonna have staples sitting around. These work incredible for that. Let's get them out. Next, tacking strip. So when you're done, what do you do as far as the environmental part, saving some of the... Yeah, most of these products can all be recycled from the pad to the carpet. Um, you know, check with your uh, local carpet companies. A lot of them will take it back or, you know, there's uh, places that will process these products and uh, we can reuse them and help the environment out. This is what it looked like before with the carpet in. And this is what it looked like after we installed hardwood floors. We're going to show you in a couple of weeks how you could do that yourself. And again, these guys here at High West, they're the uh, Home Advisor at Lead Service Contractor. If you ever need help with something like this, like this is fun to know how it goes, but if you ever really do need help and you look at that and you say, hey, that's just too much for me, this is a good time to reach out to the pros at Home Advisors just to get some help with the project as well. Thanks, great job. And of course, for all the information, we have the step-by-step -step details on 9news.com slash fix this. We've seen this string art all over Pinterest. We decided to start simple with a step-by-step -step process showcasing Door Stay Pride. Our special guests are ready for their Comic-Con makeover, but not before transforming me first. Welcome back to Fix This, presented by Home Advisor, the free and easy way to find the best home pros. Are you looking for help with your Fix This project? Home Advisor's project advisors are taking calls now to help you find the right pro to get your project done. The call in number is 1 800 503 0119. So, Comic Con is the one time of year where you get to transform into your favorite alter ego, and Stacy with Fun Faces and Beyond is here to show us exactly how to become one. Plus, we have three special guests who are our models for today, and they're going to put on the three most requested alter egos. We're going to show you a simple way to do it so you can try this yourself. It's going to be really fun. All right, so Stacey, Bella is our first model for our first alter ego. What are we starting with? We're going to do Batgirl. Batgirl. Is this pretty simple that anybody can do? This is. I'm going to show you a technique that can be done at home. It might take just a little bit of practice, but I'll show you a technique to simplify it. Okay, all right, let's get started. You need a good quality brush. You can find those everywhere. They come in kits when you buy watercolors or um, paint it, you know, any craft store, but the most important thing about the, the brushes that we're using today is that they are a synthetic made um, brush, so you don't want to use something like boar's hair or sable that's used in oil painting. So I'm just going to lay it on the skin. I'm going to use my sponge. I want the paint to be a little bit drier. I'm actually going to put on my hand and make sure. And then if you see, I'm just going to lightly press through here. Oh, cool. And this is just going to give some texture. It's going to give a little bit of a comic book feel. And I'm going to outline it. And by outlining with a darker color, you give it a really nice contrast. So when you take a photo, it'll really pop and it'll really stand out.
your spidey eyes first. How does that feel? This is called a split cake. I can pick up all three colors at once. And this is called a flat brush. Do you love your face paint? Yeah! <laughs> well, we got all our little alter egos ready for Comic-Con, and we'll have the step-by-step -step instructions on 9news.com slash fix this. They oh, are man. so cute. Oh, they were so happy with it, and we love seeing your Comic-Con pictures, too. There is no shortage of creativity out there, so keep them coming. Just send them to us using the hashtag I, FixTheCO. Everyone's so creative. Look I at have that. a feeling that a lot of people this weekend are going to be watching this and doing it, you know, because I'd go around with that. That's awesome. Mm -hmm, for Even sure. though I'm an adult. <laughs> Well, I could see you rock that video, and I really love how everyone kind of taps into their creativity to put these costumes together. And it's a family event. There's son, daughter, mom, everyone else getting into the spirit for Comic Con there. And the beauty with face paint too is you can put it on, and if you mess up, just wash it off wash real it quick off. and do it again. <laughs> we love it. Five uses for your dishwasher, including a great way to sanitize your sponges. Trust me, you need minimal skills in the trades to build this art project. We got your guide on this creative DIY. Hey everybody, have you ever had any one of those projects that just keeps showing up in your Pinterest feed over and over and over again? And you think it's cool and you'd really like to try it, but you're not really sure where to start? Well, this was one of mine. It's one of those string art pieces. You can see it there that keeps just showing up on my Pinterest feed, be it a quote from somebody, somebody's state. Well, I took it and decided I wanted to make something that's popular where I live, and that's the Colorado State flag. So in this step-by-step, -step, we're gonna show you, or I'm gonna show you, how I got this done and did it with minimal carpentry skills. Trust me, I don't have very many, um, but got it done in a relatively easy fashion. I'm not gonna say it's quick because it wasn't, but it turned out awesome, and I can't wait for you to try it too. All you need is a piece of plywood, a hammer, nails, pencil, compass, ruler, string, and painting supplies. Someone at the big box store cut me a 16 by 24 inch piece of wood. To make the stripes, I divided 16 by three and marked those spots across the board. Then I connected the dots with my pencil, drawing the stripes of the flag. Next, I calculated the very center of the board. Colorado friends, this is where the outer edge of the yellow circle will be. Then I drew a straight line from the center of that mark. Now, adjust your compass so that it measures the same distance from your very center mark to your first line. That's gonna be the radius of your circle. Place the point of your compass on the center line you just drew so that your pencil rests on that very center mark of your board. Now, draw your circle. 
To make your C, keep your point on the same spot and stretch the compass so that your pencil goes halfway between your line and the edge of the board. Draw your complete circle and then mark the edges of your C. Now, hammer in the nail holes around your C outline. Paint is going to cover your pencil lines, so it's important to do this part first. I made each hole about a centimeter apart. Finally, it's time to paint. The Colorado flag is blue, yellow, white, and red, but I left the red out because I'm using string for that color, and I thought it would be neat if you could see the other colors barely through the string when it was finished. Once the paint is dry, then put in your nails. Make sure they're in far enough so they won't fall out, and it's okay to make minor adjustments along the way. Now fill that C in with string. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Just make sure you wind it enough to fill in the color. Finally, it's time to enjoy your brand new piece of art. Show dad you're caring and creative with this shirt card. Dishwashers aren't only for cleaning dishes. How your dishwasher can disinfect toys, brushes, and even your sports helmets. Welcome back to Fix This, presented by Home Advisor, the free and easy way to find the best home pros. Are you looking for help with your Fix This project? Home Advisor's project advisors are taking calls now to help you find the right pro to get your project done. The call in number is 1 800 503 0119. If you like making personalized gifts, this origami card is perfect for Father's Day. Picking out the right paper can capture your dad's style with your own message inside. Start by folding a rectangle sized paper, hot dog style in the middle. Now fold each end to the center line. Fold the corner edges in on one side. Flip the paper over and fold the paper vertically at the bottom. Flip the paper over again and fold the outer sides into the middle. Next comes the squash fold, the trickiest part of the shirt. To do this, fold the paper at the edge of the triangle. Unfold. Place your thumbs on the inside edges of the fold and press down. You will start to see these triangle shapes forming at each end. When you see this, fold down the top edge to secure it in place. Flip the paper over and fold the bottom edge again. Flip it over one last time. Take the corner edges and fold them toward the center line. This is the collar of your shirt. This is now the time to add in a personalized message. Fold from the middle and tuck the edge into the collar. You can secure this with some double-sided tape. Add buttons, ties, pockets, or handkerchiefs. This last part is really up to you. In case you missed a step, we have the instructions on 9news.com slash fix this. And the beauty about it is you can go back online and really just pause as you go, because I'm a little slower. I look, know, but as you're <laughs> trying to follow along, I she's like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I only got to the hot dog fold, and I was like, wait, 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 wait. Oh. That's the beauty of pause. And then I also wrote out the step-by-step -step instructions, too. So if you pause it, you Perfect. can also reference it there in print, too. But you said that this really only took you 10 minutes to learn. It's it's not, yeah. it's a great craft to and sit around and do with the kids. I'd recommend practicing on printer paper first, because I used, you know, this really nice scrap book paper, yeah. but you want to practice on the printer paper because the fir first few times aren't going to look that great. Okay. okay. We Good love tip. it that these are wonderful. What a great job. Thank you. Here we go and hold it up. All right. Thanks for watching Fix This, everybody. See ya. Have a great day. You know, I'm respirator mask. <laughs> when you enter your plane, you see, please. <laughs> no, we are <laughs> cutting that last part out. <laughs>